Hi guys, this will be the power from the earth B field. This problem is annoying. Okay. Um, read the question in the description below, I don't want to even read it. Um, okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to change the revolution per second to rad per second. And to do that, um, they gave me that uh, 139 revolution per second. Okay, so this will be times 2 pi rad over rev. Okay. So we just multiply this and we'll get the omega. Okay. Um, let's see, what was my omega? My omega is 873.36. Rad per second. Um, uh, what else do we need to find? What was the question? We need to find the peak current. Okay. And the peak current is this divided by the R. And this guy here is just um, the D phi DT, right? And the phi is the same as um, NB, um, NB, what was it? NBA sine omega t. And then we differentiate this, so we'll get um, NBA cosine of omega t times omega divided by r. Right, and the area here is just the um, circle area, which is r squared, and r is the 0.19. And you change the 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 b here. They give it. They give to you and the g. Stupid. Um, so one g is equal to 10 negative four um, Tesla. So if you look at it, we need to find the 0.3. So it's going to be 0.3 times 10 to the negative 4. And the n turns is just 10 to the negative 5. And the cosine of, of t um, will take this guy to be equal to um, equal to 1 since they want the p current. So we'll take this guy to equal 1. And then just substitute everything you have and you'll find the current. Okay, so number 2 is... Um, the average of the square of the current, so you'll find the current here. Let's let's call it I. I one. So the average of the square of the current. The average of the square of the current. Okay. Will be equal to half square of the peak current. So if we said that this is the peak current and divide this by 2, so we'll find the um, I2 squared average. Yeah, so this is the average. If you read the question, this is what um, this is supposed to mean. So And then the power delivered is going to be just um, I2 squared times R. And the I2 squared is just the I1 squared over 2 times R. Right. Let me, let me just make sure of this real quick. I got for the um, for number one I got 0.173, and then to oops, it's off. <laughs> 0.137 um, squared divided by 2 times the R. Um, one seven one three. Oh shit. I'm sorry, it's one seven three point one seven three um, squared divided by two times um, one seven one three. 
I can't even type now. So 0 0.173 divided by 2. Oops, it should be squared. Square 2. Um, divided by 2 and then times um, 1713. And yes, it is right. I'm sorry, it's just 5 a.m. I've been studying like the whole night because my friend asked me to do this. Um, yeah, so you'll get 25.63. Okay. Um, the last one is, is this econom an economical way to generate power? So hence, energy has to be expended to keep the coil rotating. So, so they're answering the question by themselves. So the answer is no. Why? I just answer it by yourself. I tried, yes, they say it's wrong, so it's just no. <laughs> that was so funny, damn it. Alright, bye guys.